Hello, good kind people. I'm sure you hear like a bunch of noise in the background, but I'm having an allergic reaction and I'm not sure from what. I think it might have been the lipstick that I was wearing, but you can see. Looks pretty gross. But I have allergies to a lot of things. Um, not going to tell you what can kill me, but... Just know I have some allergies that could cause anaphylaxis. And then I have some allergies to things that cause this beautiful, disgusting mess. And I'm pretty sure it's either the lipstick or the chapstick. So it's just more reason why I can't wear makeup most of the time. But anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is because I am... Well, I would say I have been trying to wean myself off of coffee. So I'm going to show you my teeth now. This is what they're looking like. Just average color teeth. Braces are going to be coming off um, the end of the week. So they say. I know how braces can be sometimes. But... As far as I know, braces are coming off on the 26th. Today is the 22nd. And since 2020, I have had at least one cup of coffee per day. When I say one cup of coffee, I literally mean like one eight ounce cup of coffee. And I very rarely, like I used to make my own iced coffees at home. Um, very rarely did I go get McDonald's coffee or anything like that because it's jam-packed with sugar and I've been weaning myself off of sugar as well. Although every now and then I indulge in some crumble or some cheesecake from the grocery store that has Oreos in it or Oreo ice cream or um, sometimes I put little Oreos in my overnight oats. But yeah. So there's that. But um, back to what I was saying because I was going off on a tangent. The coffee. I'm trying to wean myself off of coffee completely because um, my doctor was like, listen, coffee is going to be problematic for your medication. That's supposed to help you be calm. And I would say I, that one cup of coffee it's still enough to cause an addiction. We'll just say that. That one cup of coffee is still enough to cause an addiction. And this is how I've been trying to wean myself off of the coffee. So I have like a 16 ounce tumbler and I just brew the coffee regularly. And instead of doing eight ounces, I've been slowly tapering down the amount of coffee that I put in the tumbler. So before it used to be eight ounces, but now I'm down to like two ounces of coffee. Two ounces of coffee and the rest with water. I know for coffee drinkers that sounds absolutely disgusting. Or sometimes I'll drink decaf, but it's just not the same. It just doesn't hit the same. It doesn't smell the same. And I'm one person who loves the smell of coffee. But I have gotten to the point where I can drink my coffee black with a couple sugars. So we're in business. We're getting there. But I want to get off of coffee all com complete. I want to get off of coffee completely because, um, like I said, my body is just used to it. So when the days I don't drink coffee, I feel my friend describes it as me being narcoleptic because, like, I'm just asleep randomly throughout the day. And I used to work at an insurance place and I would randomly fall asleep at my desk and my boss asked me if I had narcolepsy because I fell asleep so much. So, I have one kid who thinks that I've lost. I'm in the bathroom. So, sorry about that. But like I was saying um, about the coffee, weaning myself off of the coffee, just adding lots of water. Coffee drinkers already know that's like, oh, that's disgusting. But health-wise, I already have anxiety and it's just not a good idea to drink coffee when you have anxiety in general. Um, but I love the coffee. Without the coffee, I'm legit like falling asleep randomly throughout the day. But that one cup kind of brings me 
carries me for the whole entire day. And I drink that one cup usually around like 8 a.m. So not right when I wake up, but at least a few hours after I wake up. Because most days I'll wake up 536. Six if I'm being real lazy, but you know, gotta take kids to school and stuff like that. So my first cup of coffee is usually like on the ride to school. So like 7.58 ish. But I've been starting out with the two ounces and then tapering it down. So just two ounces of regular coffee and then filling the rest up with water. And I'm down to like one ounce of water or one ounce of coffee. Um, this week I'm at one ounce of coffee and it's really, it's literally a shot of coffee. Like when I tell you it's a shot of coffee in a huge tumbler with hot water, sounds nasty, but it's helping to taper me down gradually. Ready? You need to wash your hands. You just want to play in the water. Well. I'm going to hurry up with my video because I have a person in here who claims they want to wash their hands. But if you know that two-year-olds love playing in water. But back to what I'm saying. So I'm down to <laughs> I'm down to a shot of, of coffee with a bunch of water. And hopefully I can do this within the next few weeks. Because I want to get my teeth professionally whitened at some point. So that um, I can have a little ching-ching. Especially with the braces coming off. Right now, my teeth are stained with coffee. And I genuinely don't have an issue with that. But I've always wanted to have, like, a white smile. Even just, even if I know it's temporary. But, gotta quit drinking coffee for life purposes. And so, um, I figure it's a great time to quit completely. Since the braces are coming off. But yeah. That is the end of my video. And hopefully I can chop this. And not have a bunch of interruptions. In there. Like this two year old playing with the water. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Kind people of the internet.